Hey guys, James here, back with another video. Happy New Year. I know it's been a while since I've actually released a video, but as I said, you know, I've been on holiday, so I took that, uh, you know, one month-ish uh, break, so I'm back. Uh, now for today's video, we're actually going to compare a few different types of micro SD cards. You can see here, we've got this Samsung uh, 64 gigabyte Evo Plus. You have a San SanDisk Extreme and a SanDisk Ultra. And now there are actually uh, more cards which I'll actually be comparing. I don't have them uh, with me at the moment, but I have done tests in the past because I was trying to figure out what is the difference between all these different, you know, uh, micro SD cards. Was there any reason for me to go and get a new one, you know, because they always say, oh, the latest version, 2017, 2018. So I wanted to know what was the actual difference and what was the performance um, between all these different micro SD cards. So today we're going to look at that performance, but here we can see one is actually uh, hasn't been unpacked and this was sent by Gearbest. So huge shout out to them. So essentially Gearbest is an online shopping website similar to something like eBay. Um, however, they actually hold all the stock themselves in a few different warehouses around the world. So um, the one that I usually buy is from the warehouse in China. Most of my stock comes from there, but I have personally been using Gearbest for a very long time and I'm sure uh, a lot of you guys would actually have heard of them before, um, but they have just really, really cheap items. Um, big thing I buy from them is I buy a lot of cables, um, which I will hopefully do a video of soon. Um, a lot of Xiaomi products, pretty much all the Chinese products, like Xiaomi, um, all the cameras, like the, the security cameras, and you can get micro SD cards, pretty much anything. And they will have it. And, and they're really relatively cheap and they often have a lot of sales as well. So go check them out. They ship to pretty much every single country that I know of, um, except the really, really secluded places. Now, if some of you guys actually remember, I used Gearbest to fulfill my 1000 subscriber giveaway. And so I used Gearbest to send out all those things and it was really, really easy. So they're very quick. You can choose many, many different shipping options, which is fantastic. I haven't had a single time where uh, the product was either damaged or uh, was missing things. It's always been uh, really, really good. So go check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll also leave a link in the, des uh, link in the description if you want to get um, this SD card as well. And I'll see if I can find these ones um, and I'll put them in the link in the description below. But let's get straight into this video. You can tell it's from Gearbest because they always have this kind of uh, barcode system um, for each product that they stock. You can see here made for Android, um, it's a class 10 micro SD XC. Uh, you have this rating, which is the three and the one rating. It's probably best that I don't explain that, but you can probably find the explanation online or I'll leave a link in the description below explaining uh, what those ratings mean. But essentially the higher, the better. Um, and yeah, you can see it's claiming to have hundred megabytes read and 60 megabytes write and be able to film uh, and watch, well, essentially write and, rec and read 4K UHD video. So let's open this up and see what we get. So there's a scissor line, so let's cut along that. That's essentially it. So let's open this up and take the card out. Okay. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but this says it's made in the Philippines uh, and it has all the uh, serial numbers and stuff on that. On the front, you can clearly see it's the Samsung Evo Plus 64 gigabyte. The depending on what size you get changes the speed that you're going to get as well. So um, we'll, we'll kind of see a bit of that uh, when I do this uh, test. Let me just quickly uh, chuck this into my laptop and we'll test this specific SD card because I've already done tests for those. So I'm doing this test on my Dell XPS 15. So I'm using a SanDisk adapter here, but it shouldn't make any difference to the speed. So let's plug in here. Let's open up Crystal Disk Mark. So if you are interested, you can see here by the screenshot that um, the default space uh, right out of the uh, packet is 59.5 gigabytes. So a little bit shy of the 64 gigs, but you know, you can expect that with these kind of drives. Um, it is, also default formatted to extended fat, which allows you to pretty much store um, most data that is above uh, four gigs, I believe, um, or is it eight gigs? I'm not sure, but it's really good. Don't want to touch that. It's great. So let's do a crystal disk mark test and we'll see 
how fast this uh, SD card really is. So we're just gonna do a one gigabyte file and we're gonna run this once. Okay, so as you can see from this screenshot, I did the first test and I got a result of 86.71 megabytes read and I actually got 70.59 megabytes write, which was a bit strange because the, the packet itself said that it was only 60 megabytes uh, write. So I ran the test again and you can see here, I got um, the, a different result, um, but pretty much the same. 86.2 megabytes read, so slightly slower, and 71.13 megabytes write, so a little bit faster. So um, I think if we take the second test, um, that's probably, uh, let, let's just use that as the benchmark. Um, that's pretty decent. A very, very close read write speeds, um, given that of course it is, uh, you know, 15 megabytes higher um, in terms of the read, but uh, the write speeds are surprisingly good. Now you might be saying, okay, what about the 86.2 megabytes read? It's supposed to be 100, how come it drops so low? So maybe because it's, uh, if you get it on a phone, it might perform a bit faster. Um, that is possible. The write is what you really, really want though. Um, having the write, being able to write to the card, you know, with photos and, and stuff like that, that, that's really beneficial. I think read uh, 86 to 0.2 megabytes, if you're doing general stuff, if you're not really uh, watching 4K video a lot, um, or you're, you know, reading a lot of uh, large files from your uh, phone uh, internally, then I think that that's actually quite good. So where does this stack actually with the rest of the SD cards. This is what you really want to, this is why you came here. This is this is, this is is not just clickbait. This is why you actually came here. So um, I'm gonna go from uh, slowest to fastest. I'm primarily looking at write speeds. However, I do take read speeds into accounts, but this is how I've ranked them. So the slowest um, of them all is the SanDisk Ultra. So this is an old generation uh, micro SD card. And this comes with, yeah, 44.59 megabytes read and only 14.34 megabytes write. Now this, Back in that day, this was also, this was fast, but not anymore. Now, if you look at the 32 gig SanDisk Ultra, it's actually the same line, um, it's the same year, and you can see that the ride speeds are pretty much identical, 14.23, but the read speeds is almost twice that, so it's 85.66. So when you go up in terms of storage space, it, it kind of allows a larger buffer, which allows you to read faster. So third place, we have the SanDisk Extreme. So this is just the Extreme. And this is coming at, this essentially boosts the write speed. So um, this is an older generation again, so you will get faster ones for the new generation. Um, but the old SanDisk Extremes was the 46.22 megabytes read and 41.70 megabytes write. So roughly the same in terms of uh, read write, but obviously it's a lot faster compared to to the ultras so this is just to show the the kind of general progression of of all the different classes now if we get into the samsung evo plus now this is the plus with the actual plus sign uh samsung have changed their naming convention and actually use the word plus so p l u s so this is the old generation plus so this was 128 gigs all right and it's 80.40 megabytes right and 25.27 megabytes read. So if we compare this with the extreme, which at that time was kind of on that same level, um, it's obviously twice as fast in terms of reading, but it was super slow in terms of write, which is almost unacceptable, really. Um, then you have the new uh, SanDisk Ultra, uh, which is the 64 gigabyte. This is more of the, the new generation for the SanDisk Ultras. Um, you can see you have a very, very high speed of 92.16 megabytes read. Um, however, the write speeds is lacking just a little bit in 37.91 megabytes with write speed. So, um, you know, this is good for, I guess, if you're writing smaller things and you wanna, you know, just maybe preview a lot. So for example, if all your photos um, are stored onto your phone and you want to look at your gallery um, all those pictures are going to load really quick 4k is probably the one that is 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 what you'll be limiting but I think this should be okay then we move on to the Samsung Evo plus um, which is the one that we just did and as you can see it's 86.2 megabytes read and we have 71.13 megabytes so again quite even but it's interesting because when we get to the Evo plus 128 gigabytes so double the size we have a, almost that 100 megabyte read, so 91.81 megabytes read, and we have a higher write, 87.30. So you can see how, if you just compare all the uh, these two Evo Pluses, um, you can see that the larger the actual SD card is, the faster it's going to be. So let's just say you, you only needed something like, 
like 32 gigs. Let's just say um, you wanted to buy SD card for, I don't know, your parents or you wanted to buy SD card for yourself, for your Android phone or your tablet and you say, oh, I only need 32 gigabytes, but I want it to be really fast. You can't really do that. So it's it's a bit confusing because they, they you kind of just assume that that same line. So when they say Evo Plus, you're like, oh, I'm getting that speed. However, you have to know that with a smaller card, you're going to get a slower speed. So if you want the best like the fastest possible card, then you are gonna have to get a larger card. So 128 gigabyte is probably where it's at. I mean, uh, if you're storing a lot of music, if you're storing a lot of photos, a lot of videos, um, then 120 gig is probably the best way to go. Now, 120 gigs aren't actually that expensive. Now, if you go to Gearbest, or even eBay or Amazon, it's actually quite affordable. You know, back in the day, 120 gig, you're gonna be spending like hundred something dollars. Now you can get it for maybe 50, 60, um, 70 Australian dollars, um, depending of, of course what class you get. Um, and US dollars, it's gonna be like, what is that? Maybe 30 to 50 dollars US. So um, it's, it's quite affordable and you don't really have to worry about breaking the bank. So. That's just a quick comparison, um, all these different SD cards. Um, I hope that I helped somebody out there and who didn't have to do all this research, but I think your main takeaways is that generally older cards are slower. I think that's evident. Um, the higher the capacity of the card, the faster it, it becomes. And of course, each class is pretty much um, uh, in different. So of course, the cheaper classes are gonna have really fast read speeds, but your write speeds are gonna be slow. Your medium classes are gonna be even, but they're not gonna be that great. So like maybe like a, you know, 80 or 60, and then your top ones are always gonna be, you know, right there near the hundreds and um, right there near the high, in the high 80s, 90s, right. So always go for the biggest storage if you want the fastest performance and you won't be let down. So um, I highly recommend Samsung. I've kind of moved away from SanDisk actually, um, and I'm more of a Samsung guy now, partly because my phone is Samsung, my tablet is Samsung, so I went that Samsung route, but um, apparently reliability is a lot better. Um, SanDisk is quite okay still, however, um, I would personally just recommend Samsung. So it's great that Gibbous actually sent me a Samsung SD card, micro SD card. So um, again, I'll leave links in the description below if you want to check out Gearbest, if you want to check out um, this SD card, I'll also leave links for, you know, Amazon and uh, if you really, really uh, want to use Amazon, then by all means you can use that link. Um, and using those two links for the Gearbest and Amazon does give me a bit of a kickback. So it really does help me to create more content like this. Um, so I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the fact that I've compared all these micro SD cards. But yeah, um, I hope you really liked it. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Uh, let me know what you think about this video in the comments or if you have any questions um, I'll, I'll try answer those um, as quickly as I can. I usually respond quite fast. Um, my subscribers know that um, And yeah, just subscribe to see more videos like this in the future and I will see you guys in the next one